students here is the example of a continued proportion we study the continued proportion if there are three numbers and the square of the middle number or middle term is equal to the product of first and the last term then those three numbers are said to be in continued proportion here is the example which is based on that same topic continued proportion question is that which number should be added to 12 16 21 so that resultant numbers are in continued proportion three numbers are given here 12 16 and 21 these numbers made kutla number add kela tar milnare number he continued proportion made asti he apala determine karaycha hai for this let us assume that x should be added to those three given numbers let x should be added in given numbers if we add x in all of those three numbers then the resulting numbers are the first will be 12 plus x if you add x in that middle number then it will be 16 plus x add x to that last number 21 plus x these are the numbers after adding x condition is given that those should, those numbers should be in continued proportion the number se continued proportion madhe asle pahije manje if a b and c are the three numbers in continued proportion then we can say that b square equals to ac square of the middle term is equal to the product of the extremes so resulting numbers are in continued proportion and if these numbers are in continued proportion then we can say that square of the middle term is equals to product of the extremes b square equals to a multiplied by c it is use the square expansion formula for that first bracket 16 plus x square it is in the form of a plus b bracket square by using that square expansion formula we can carry out the square a square square of the first term 256 plus 2ab product of those two terms and its twice their product is 32x plus square of the second term it is x square on the right hand side of that equal sign there are the two brackets there is the multiplication of two brackets carry out each term of the second bracket by each and every term of the first bracket there should be the multiplication of each term if you multiply 12 and 21 then that product will be 252 12 12 by 21 is 252 carry out the multiplication of 12 and x plus 12x plus carry out the multiplication of 21 and x it is 21x plus lastly carry out the product of x multiplied by x it is x square 256 Plus 32x plus x square is equal to. There is 252 plus the sum of 12x and 21x is 33x plus x square. To the left side of that equal sign, there is x square. While to the right side, there is also x square. So those two same terms from both sides get cancelled. We got 256 plus 32x 
equals to 253 uh, 52 plus 33x. Equals I the side x square is arcing term only. One of the side is cancel. And 256x 32x left side of the other. And 252 plus 33x right side of the To find the value of x, collect the similar terms. You can write 33x minus 32x. Yeah, 33x kade, apani 32x return transfer kele. Equal sign on. Return transfer kele amon. Yeah, 256 kudu lela 256. Transfer this constant term 252 in that other side. There is 252. The difference of 33x and 32x is x Therefore, 33x minus 32x is x and the subtraction in the right hand side is 4. So, the number x has the value 4. The number which should be added to those given numbers is 4. We can simplify this. If you put this value 4 in each of those numbers, प्रत्येक नंबर मध्ये जर आपण x ची व्हॅल्यू 4 टाकली तर हा पहिला नंबर आपल्याला मिळणार आहे 12 4 इज 16 सेकंड नंबर मिळणार आहे 16 4 इज 20 एंड 21 4 इज 25 लेट्स वेरीफाय आवर आंसर द फर्स्ट टर्म विल बी 16 द सेकंड टर्म विल बी 20 and the third term, third number is 25. If we carry out the square of the middle term, then it will has the, the uh, square of 20 is 400. And at the same time, if we carry out this product, product of the first term and the last term, it is also 400. So b square equals to a multiplied by c. It satisfies that condition. Therefore, we can see that those numbers 16, 20, and 25 are in continued proportion. So after adding that 4 to each of these numbers, the resulting numbers becomes in continued proportion.